There is some troublesome legislation coming down the pike in Sacramento on housing. SB 827 overrides local zoning ordinances, general plans, and specific plans. Proposed housing developments located close to rail stations or within one quarter mile of bus stops or stations on routes with headways of 15 minutes or less would no longer be subject to density or floor area ratio limits or other local requirements that could affect the total number of units built. SB 28 is aimed at increasing development in high cost, high income markets. Another bill will be introduced to make changes to the RENA process. And yet another bill will be introduced to withhold transportation funding from local jurisdictions where housing development has trailed. Let me state clearly, I am opposed to this top-down planning. We need to take tangible steps that make sense for Marin. The board's 2018 legislative priorities support efforts permitting counties to collaborate with cities to create more affordable housing or to preserve existing affordable units, including a broader range of options that would be eligible to receive state housing element credits. In line with our legislative priorities, I will support legislation for funding for the conversion of existing commercial and housing stock and increasing funds, providing tax incentives, and exploring other mechanisms for affordable housing preservation, rehabilitation, development, and conversion. We have locally grown strategies that will work in our communities, and we need to keep momentum and show progress on those programs. I will push for opportunities to convert existing housing into affordable housing, as well as to utilize accessory dwelling units. <coughs> I believe that mixed use opportunities, renovations and conversions, and utilization of commercial spaces for housing holds promise in Moran. 